Hi guys, is it a marble? Is it a globe? Is it a planet? Is it a ball bearing? It's all of these. It's a sphere. We are working out the volume of this sphere. Now remember the definition of a volume? The definition of a volume is the amount of space occupied by the solid. And that's what we're looking for. The contents inside this shape here, this sphere. So we're going to take it in three steps. But before I tell you what the three steps are, let me tell you all units are in centimeters. So obviously because we're going for volume, the units will finally come up with centimeters cubed to the power of three. Okay, what are the three steps? Well, step number one, we are going to write up the formula to ensure we got the right, correct data up there. Number two, we are going to work out the radius because they haven't given us the radius. They've given us the diameter. So we're going to have to chop that in half. And finally, we're going to drag and drop the result of that into the formula and come up with the answer. Now, the answer will be in one decimal place. So we're going to round it up to that. So let's start at step number one and write up that formula. Volume for a sphere is 4 on 3 pi r cubed. The radius is cubed. That's what we're looking next. Have a look here. Our diameter is 48. Let's halve it so we can get that radius right in the middle. Let's halve that. So in order for us to halve it, to get the radius from the center to the edge, the answer for that will be... Well, the diameter is 48. Half of 48 will give us a radius for this sphere of 24. All right, that's chopped in half. We can safely put that up in here. So let's do that first. Let's take that 24, put it here. Now remember, it's to the power of 3. Let's put that cube on top. Okay, what other values do we have here? We have the 4 on 3 and the pi. So Okay. So the volume for this sphere, as we put it into our calculator, is going to be, okay, 4 on 3 times pi times 24 cubed. All in one hit, the total volume and content within that sphere is... to one decimal place, we're going to round it. Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.vividmaths.com You'll find additional resources, cheat sheets, transcripts and other maths videos that are not available on YouTube. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to get access to all the written answers for your maths questions plus other special offers.